Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. You are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful. Leo, someone, first of all, wants to get your attention. <laughs> okay, we'll put it like that. Um, also, someone may find you incredibly magnetizing. Incredibly, I'm hearing also potent. Like when they see you, Leo, they're like, they exude uh, fertility. <laughs> I'm hearing they exude performance in whatever way that may be meant for anyone. And what does fertile mean, right? It can be taken, perceived, interpreted a number of ways, but I'm seeing it as like people being so impressed by you, just kind of like singing songs about you. It's like they're, they don't even have a song to sing, but they're just, they're, they're, they're including you in their song lyrics. I'm hearing specifically. And people may be really finding your work incredibly, incredibly attractive to look at, to view. And they're like, mm, they're just yummy. I'm hearing they're just yummy. They're delicious to, to, uh, to uh, hold a, I'm hearing a discussion with as well. And you may be really, again, stimulating someone on a level that is like, so like i'm seeing again it's like someone like going home and like singing about you singing songs about you leo okay I mean, you got the father of wands looking over the magician i'm hearing and you know that i'm hearing you're not surprised i'm hearing and you're not also not sorry it's like if i'm turning heads i'm hearing i just hope that they have a i'm hearing a brace in case they uh, trip and fall okay god forbid here um i'm hearing scorpio taurus <laughs> leo i'm seeing you like knowing i'm hearing i'm hearing i know i'm hearing i know i'm hearing that i caught you off guard there i'm hearing i know that <laughs> I'm, seeing, I'm seeing you being very sort of dramatic and um i'm hearing decided as well with the way that you talk about uh the uh the space that you're holding and i'm hearing scorpio and libra are kind of uh tongue-tied uh when they want to come talk to you about what they want to talk to you about and it's like they're looking at you i'm hearing they're looking at the hair on your chest as well and how bouncy it looks i'm hearing specifically leo whatever that may mean for a number of you and i'm but i'm seeing it as like uh <laughs> It's like, gosh, I'm hearing they've got that, I'm hearing those long locks, I'm hearing full lashes, they've got this, uh, this feeling to them as well of just, uh, I'm hearing performance, it's like they are just showing up, and there, someone is really impressed by you, Leo, it's like, but, at the same time, um, there's, a, there's a certain element and it's interesting, there's a certain element of being somewhat, um, I'm hearing lost, I'm hearing on the island that they that they catch you on, somewhat lost on the island that they're loving you on, whatever that may mean for you, it's like, I'm seeing you kind of not playing hard to get necessarily, although some of you may absolutely be, I'm hearing uh, shedding a few layers uh, inch by inch, I'm hearing level by level, it's like, no, 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 I'm hearing my lipstick stays on no matter how many times I lick my lips, and that's not because because it's made by L'Oreal, whatever that may mean for a number of you. It's like, that's not because it's, uh, I'm hearing, uh, I'm, I'm getting, um, uh, I'm hearing waterproof. It's like, there's something that you're very, very careful with presenting. And the way that you do it has your audience, I'm hearing in the palm of your hand, I'm hearing the center seat of the audience as well. And it's like, oh my goodness. If you're, if you're performing something around this time, Leo, I'm hearing make sure the stage is uh, well situated. I'm hearing unstable because there are gonna be a few rumbles and shakes I'm hearing in the audience waiting for an encore of your message. And <clears throat> I'm hearing that you're not, you're not worried about at all how the wind is gonna be blowing through, I'm hearing your, your, your vent, whatever that may mean for you, how it is that it's going to be. Uh, also, uh, I'm hearing meeting you and the sort of feeling is that you've been so prepared for this time of talking about also certain topics. And it's like, I am not just gonna be talking to you about this. I'm gonna be telling you through my tale. I'm hearing not that which I, when I, which I tell yet again, I'm hearing don't get it twisted, but that which I show you when I dance my way to you to have the conversation. I'm hearing 
heart to heart beat to beat and i'm seeing you leo as having someone so captivated like i'm seeing like holy shit okay i'm hearing they're so lovely i'm hearing she's lovely like i'm seeing like someone who's just like oh that song isn't she lovely and I know that's definitely not the beat. Okay, so please don't beat me up for it, Leo. Come on, please don't beat me up for it now. But I'm hearing someone just really wants to unbutton your shirt also. And I don't know how else to tell you that. I'm hearing specifically, I just, someone may not know I'm hearing how to break the news to you as well. If this has been um, a, uh, a, a, uh, um, a rather professional partnership if this has been a rather practical affair as well it's like we're, we don't feel like it's just that anymore and there is a whole lot of passion here that's alluded to oh my goodness okay and you may have been suspecting this there may be a pisces involved you've got the star you've got the hanged man the magician in reverse who's looking back at the star i'm seeing you as not really wanting to set the stage in any way that makes the stage obvious as one that you're stepping onto but at the same time you want to be telling i'm hearing your own story in the way that you tell it i'm hearing visually yet again it's like it's not a matter of how you tell it verbally the focus is on the future and what the feeling space is of what you're foreshadowing and i'm seeing you as having a lot of confidence here leo it's like you're not afraid to be i'm hearing cutting a few cookies there in the kitchen uh and serving them up as well and if it's let's say a matter of cooking or a matter of creating something it's like i know i'm hearing how to lick my fingers when i'm making this dish for you to make it taste really right <laughs> ew, oh my goodness well yeah whatever that may be for a number of you i'm hearing like ew for a number of you but take it as you will uh <laughs> the world is mirroring the Dutch cart in reverse <laughs> i'm here i'm really i'm hearing some of you like what in the god's name <laughs> what i'm hearing and that is ghastly okay take it as you will but yet again um I'm, and i'm seeing someone perhaps reacting to your confidence in a way of like i'm hearing that's astounding i'm hearing the kind of nature that they can hold uh, in any in any given moment even when they're not sure of the marker i'm hearing of color that they're holding in their hand it's like they really are confident i'm hearing with the way that they are deciding to walk uh, on four wheels i'm hearing yet again whatever that may mean for you and it's like i'm hearing every every stage i'm hearing is a performance all of its own and you realize that leo but you realize even more that you you are the center of the focus that you bring your audience's attention to. And I'm hearing you're the glory. I'm hearing the glory show, whatever that may mean. Again, in particular for you, Aries, I'm hearing Pisces. And I'm hearing you, you want to bring, I'm hearing a rhythm to the table. I'm hearing you want others to recognize what exactly you're standing for when you're standing on that stage. You want it to become clear what uh, you're not willing to give attention to any longer as well. And it's a matter of where you're giving your focus. And I'm seeing that, let's say, if, okay, if you were dealing with an individual or you're dealing with an audience, you're dealing in an industry, if this is related to your work life, let's say, if this is, let's say, your Midhaven angle sign, then uh, this would be speaking to matters associated with a, perhaps a certain audience, matters of performance even. Let's say you've got, if you, let's say you've got Leo cusping or Midhaven angle sign, or that would most likely mean, again, oh, so many factors can be at play, that you would be a Scorpio rising. So, right, matters of, uh, of uh, I'm hearing also corporate, of a corporate nature could be a focus. If this is your Midhaven angle sign, if Leo is your Midhaven angle sign, okay? And if you'd like to see how energies move through in a public way, then you may want to check out your Midhaven an angle sign dear leo let us move on with it now here and if you don't know your signs like to calculate them you can do so by clicking the link in the bio description box below you get to scroll there and uh, and uh, get to that link and enter your birth information it should calculate for you okay now let us get back to it here i'm seeing someone with like a ring with a ring on their finger on the right hand middle finger they're a musician i'm hearing they are definitely a musician or some kind of i'm hearing playwright play they, they write plays i'm hearing shows I'm hearing, but I, they wear this, they wear this like beret, like a little hat. I'm hearing French little hat, whatever that may be for a number of you. And they, uh, I'm hearing they listen to Bobby Brown. I'm hearing Bobby Mac, 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 Mac. <laughs> okay. Mac, Mac, whatever that may mean for a number of you. Okay. Uh, but, um, nonetheless, okay. There's this feeling, um, uh, yet again, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you Leo, uh, Really, I'm hearing, um, 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 what were we saying here with the Father of Wands right before we, we trailed into the Midhaven? Oh, 
there is a focus here, Leo, on Yes. Okay. What it was that at a certain point in time was like unsatisfying for you. Okay. Where it's like, I used to give my attention and my time to people I'm hearing left and right. I'm hearing up and down. I'm hearing day and night. I was recording. I'm hearing specifically videos. Uh, I'm hearing virtually. I'm hearing and also physically. I was showing up and I was also telling. I'm hearing my, my, uh, my, my time, uh, my, my time, uh, my timeline out. It's like I was, let's say, talking to people and then I was also like it's this kind of feeling if you're a teacher it's like you were let's say uh, working with people in the classroom and then you'd go home and you'd answer emails and then they'd be showing up at your door and then you'd be talking about it and you'd discuss the topic it's like oh okay I I'm hearing have a schedule and a quota I'm hearing a threshold of how I want to be showing up in my own performance and I'm seeing you as getting really clear with that really really super strategic as well but by way of gauged by way of your passion leo i'm hearing scorpio there being such a focus on what holds passion and feeling for you and i'm seeing you as placing a premium on that yes i'm hearing yes i i, I am feeling i'm hearing excited to work i'm hearing at this time of day and i'm gonna really i'm hearing prioritize my projects uh, on, on on this sort of a schedule i'm hearing a timeline as well and but i'm seeing you as well leo as um feeling that there is a focal point that you want to hone in on and i'm seeing that there is let's say a schedule or rhythm that you really really want to stick to and whatever was working for you whatever works for you i'm hearing if that you make a habit of really is uh, I'm hearing your strongest link as you may feel it, uh, that you would like to really, uh, I'm hearing standardize and, but in the way of how you are feeling through the process of working within that paradigm. And I'm seeing it again. It's like this focus on the physical, physical, uh, I'm hearing showtime of your, of your work and people feel it. In, in your presence they're like oh i'm hearing she's uh she's working i'm hearing not a not like a worker or whatever that may mean to go for a number of you but uh as a uh, i'm hearing as a craftsman of her trade and she's just dis discussing i'm hearing and determining very clearly what her currency is what their currency is what our currency is what his currency is what the currency is of the stage that we're that we're stepping onto and if you're collaborating with a number of individuals i'm seeing you leo is not wanting to have conversations that leave the room i'm hearing or the table of discussion in ways that turn their back on you whatever that may mean for you and it's like uh, -uh, uh i'm not going to be working with people or with things or with i'm hearing storylines that that uh, i'm hearing spin the web uh, outside of the uh, the story itself and I'm seeing you as again wanting to really have a firm handle and you're in control over what and as you may perceive it what is control right always take it as you will but um, wanting to really have a really also sacred space that you aha yes a sacred space uh, rather Leo that you would like to uh, have um, the uh, the I'm hearing uh, the, the the I'm hearing the stage of already and if you're presenting something okay if you're in charge of something in a certain way if you are spearheading if you're if you're teaming i'm hearing a lead group take it as you will if you're setting a certain dynamic if you realize that you're setting a certain example as well in a certain industry the focus is on how you feel in the schedules that you set for yourself to get your work done through them and there's a focus on practicality. At the end of the day, do I feel like I'm, I'm hearing measuring the right the right data plot points as well? Do I feel like okay? Some people would be measuring their work by by way of time. I'm hearing by way of the amount of change that they've made at the end of the day, by way of how many boxes they've ticked off of the off of the list. I'm hearing the grocery to dos. It's like uh okay, but for me, for me, I'm hearing I'm seeing you like turning around in your room and like looking at yourself and pointing to yourself and saying, but for me, how do I marry? just as the higher font comes through. How do I marry the Ace of Wands? How do I marry mirroring the world, Leo? My mission with every step that I take on the ladder that leads me to my performance. That which I realize, yes, happens in stages strategically but that eventually has a certain clarity to it that is gauged by way of how i feel when i'm taking every step through that work that i carry out i'm hearing again in steps and stages and the feeling is well again i'm seeing you like gauging your strategy by way of your feeling 
by way of your focus on what you're feeling. Aha, uh -huh. very interesting. Very interesting, Leo. I'm seeing you as being very focused, very supercharged. I'm hearing in the way that you remain dynamic through the way that you carry your workout. And the magician looks up at the Mother of Swords, the Three of Cups landing on my lap, and the Mother of Cups. Okay, I'm hearing that you may be withdrawing from a certain social community, a certain group, a certain activity where it's like, wait, why isn't Leo calling us? I'm hearing again every every day after school. <laughs> wait a second, why why is Leo not locking locking lips with us anymore either? Whoa, whoa, wait a second, whoa, wait a second. Where is Leo? <laughs> and I'm seeing that there's somewhat of a curiosity here that you're not piquing the interest of any longer where it's like, and it may be your very own, right? It's like, well, okay, do I want to be investing in that space? Do I really want to be, um, I'm hearing working with those individuals in that industry. Do I really feel that it's giving me, I'm hearing the right return on my investment at the right time. And there's something that I'm getting, you're putting on hold. I'm not getting that you're necessarily saying like, goodbye, I'm hearing fairy godmother, whatever that may mean for a number of you, like what may have at a certain point in time felt to have held a, a, a deep, I'm hearing intrinsic value for you. Um, you may have been dealing with a water sign. This may be related to matters of uh, energy work maybe dealing with the pisces here for a number of you but i'm seeing you as yet again um wanting to have uh i'm hearing a a walkman in hand with you when you're working out whatever that may mean maybe a literal message it's like yeah girl yeah i'm hearing i want to be listening to some music while i'm working it i didn't take it too well but <laughs> the focus is i'm getting it is on um wanting to be again if in in, in control i'm mean, as a concept take it as you will of how it is that you work uh through a certain process and if you think about a walkman right it's like you're listening to to music let's say or you're you're listening to uh uh i'm hearing certain perhaps a uh, podcast discussions like on on that walkman but it's you're setting it at your speed at your pace you're still engaging but it's happening on a level that is uh that is uh somewhat i'm hearing also secretive and if you were let's say really public with certain practices in the past i'm seeing you as it's like i don't want to just uh have the live talk anymore i want to kind of be able to process it and i want to take my time to to move through it and i want to kind of listen to myself in 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 that way uh, of uh, carrying my my workout uh somewhat publicly and i want to kind of uh, work with that i'm hearing as a training i'm hearing course even where i'm um kind of preparing for the rhythm that i eventually would like to present my official work through and i'm seeing you wanting to have a formal sort of stance that you take on in a public way with what you are creating and what we're in the process of creating and i'm seeing it again it's like there's perhaps a um a person a particular person who wants to promote you a particular person who really wants to make a promise to you as well who is perhaps presenting you with a certain uh a platform to carry your work through and i'm seeing you as uh being interested yes being interested but wanting to work um with uh the uh i'm hearing the 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 wheelbarrow specifically that 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 actually works <laughs> when you're working with them it's like okay i'm hearing yeah I, I really admire your work i really admire your portfolio i really admire your past i'm hearing performances as well um but i need to ensure that what i work on with you is going to uh, have uh, i'm hearing a a uh, i'm hearing a storyboard to it and the feeling is like i'm almost getting in this way of like you see someone who would be an amazing actor actress uh, and it's like okay you're i'm hearing you've got potential it's not a matter of how great you are i'm hearing specifically for a number of you it's a matter of how um we can uh gauge the temperament of the dream together as well and there could be a focus on what the energetic temperament is there when you're working perhaps with an individual or with a certain concept of a dream that you'd like to instill into the future there is a focus on the long term perhaps partnering up partnership there's a focus again on a Piscean individual perhaps as well for a number of you. There could as well be a focus, Leo, on a certain cycle that your work takes on uh, that is uh, energetically focused, spiritually focused as well. Let us though, and I'm seeing you having a lot of clarity with that um, in terms of, well, I, I feel that I've really moved through a cycle there. Okay. And I'm really feeling like I don't need to talk about it any longer to realize that it's, uh, I'm hearing a drum roll time and how I'm going to be talking about it may be the focus at this point in time and how I'd like to present it or how someone may be, um, how I may partner up with someone on this next stage and cycle of my work can be somewhat of a, uh, spontaneous, uh, move. But I want to first understand 
what the move means for me within the grander context of what it is that I'm taking full circle in my work. And um, I'm seeing also what it is you like to present publicly. You've got the fool yet again that you lead out with the two of cups. Someone is winking at you. And it's like, they don't know how many, it's like, what eye do I wink at them with? Okay, to get their attention. Do I, do I, I'm here and I'm seeing someone like looking in the mirror and maybe your own energy, Leo, okay? I don't get it twisted, but I'm seeing someone who's like in the mirror and they're looking at themselves and they're like, they're, they're like brushing their eyelashes up. <laughs> they're like, I'm hearing, I believe I can fly. It's like they're talking to themselves in the mirror, talking to you, talking to them. It's like they're trying to believe in even what it is that they would be helping perhaps uh, you uh, find clarity with in, in a certain proposal. And I'm seeing it as them wanting to talk to you about something, Aries, um, wanting uh, Aries, Leo. I'm seeing someone who wants to work on something with you, but doesn't really also know how it's going to exactly work out. Yet again, I'm seeing them like kind of wondering do i do i brush my hair back do i brush it to the left do i brush my teeth even or do i just let it i'm hearing all hang out and all hang loose whatever that may be do i do i i'm hearing look like i just came from from the bath or the uh, shower it's like what what exactly do i uh, how do i demo this i'm hearing as well for a number of you and there could be a focus on presentation and someone may i'm hearing maybe a little bit like scared in a certain way and they may be wondering what you would actually accept i'm hearing in, in, as a negotiation they may be thinking about well um your past i'm hearing your, your past, uh, I'm hearing lovers, your past lifeline, whatever that may be. I'm a number of you. It can be financial as well. They may be doing a credit check. Take it as you will. Uh, the Father of Pentacles is marrying the fool. Um, and they may be wondering what you would find uh, also as, a, as an appropriate offer. And they're incredibly contemplative about it. They're really wanting to take time to make sure that the steps they take towards you are measured and are calculated and are creative at the same time and not feeling like, hi, I'm hearing, I want to bear children with you. I'm hearing, how many do you believe in having? I'm hearing together. It's like, that's not the kind of way I want to start the conversation off. I'm hearing boring, whatever that may mean to go for a number of you. You may be feeling, or someone may be feeling like, I don't want to make it sound like it's a boardroom conversation as well, where they have to uh, board themselves up and then kind of have it. It's like, I don't want it to be something that feels so, uh, so, uh, um, I'm hearing believable as well, that it's almost like too good to be true, whatever that may mean to a number of you. Um, and the feeling is that you kind of want there to be, um, an authenticity here. And they may also want there to be an authenticity here in terms of what exactly is being offered. It's like, I don't want to make an offer that's like going to make me sound silly. That's going to make me look like I'm, I'm hearing clapping with my feet. And that's going to make me <laughs> look like I'm clapping for myself at the same time. I don't want to feel like I'm, let's say giving a show. Uh, I'm hearing showtime performance that polarizes me from the act itself. I don't want it to seem like I am all too proud of, let's say, what I've become I'm hearing Papa of as well. Take it as you will, whatever that may mean, took it for a number of you. And I, this may be the en energy of another individual, maybe your own, and you may be really, really making some major, major moves in your career for a number of you, Leo. Like, I'm talking like, I, I'm hearing future, I'm hearing 409K. <laughs> like, I am uh, I'm hearing I'm father time, and I'm telling it. And I am in control, let's say, of how, um, I'm hearing fast that the clock is ticking. You may be uh, investing your funds in a certain industry, maybe investing assets in a, in a certain, uh, in a certain, uh, I'm hearing world-class market, take it as you will, and maybe related as well to what is uh, internationally uh, conducted. I'm hearing also carried out or organized, uh, implemented um, overseas. I'm seeing that for a number of you strongly here, okay? Uh, nonetheless, there is a focus for a number of you, Leo, on... I'm hearing the how do you do of the conversation. And if somebody's thinking of holding a conversation with you, or if you're thinking of holding a conversation with someone, there's a focus on, I'm hearing the lips that talk themselves. And if, again, if somebody's like wanting to hold a conversation with you, I'm seeing them as being somewhat um, listless in the way that they're holding the conversation first with themselves to be able to kind of gauge the temperature in the room and they're going to be having it with you and it's like they're looking at themselves and they're like how do i lick my lips that's going to lead to the conversation in the best way possible <laughs> i'm hearing this like, number it's like someone is really and again it can be your own energy it's like how am i going to be loving myself through and through through all the way i'm hearing uh the the thread that i am 
uh, handing them when we start talking about it. And um, there could be a focus on self-confidence, specifically confidence. How am I having the, also the, the heart to talk about what it is that I do? How am I owning the conversation? And if this is a negotiation for a number of you, I've seen that you realize that it's so much a matter of how you find the heartbeat and what it is that you're, um, uh, I'm hearing impressing your audience with specifically, and I am seeing that you are impressing your audience, okay? I'm hearing, it all falls down from here. <laughs> Whatever that may mean, I remember you with the father of swords on the ground, upside down. I'm hearing he doesn't know that he's actually Dumbledore and he's uh, going to be going door to door. <laughs> I'm hearing making a few solicitations. Whatever that may mean, trigger for you. There's um, something that you may... Uh, I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting that this is um, not your own energy. I'm getting this is the energy of someone else who may be like... Who may be almost... Um, who who may, it's almost like if you get hired in a certain position, Leo, I'm hearing Aries strongly, it's almost as if someone in the same in, in industry or environment is then hired in a position that um, is, uh, 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 I'm hearing learning how to pronounce your name, very interesting. It's almost like there's someone who is perhaps investigating a certain, uh, a certain home, I'm hearing hometown, a certain, uh, Hollywood, I'm hearing in Hollywood, Hollywood Hills, the daughter of Swords and Reverse. Uh, I'm hearing Holly, Holly Mark, Hall, Hallmark, Hallmark film, Holly, Hollywood. I'm hearing again. Someone who, who is like a critic, even who may be uh, surprised. I'm hearing surprised with the announcement of you. And I'm seeing, but I'm seeing it's like, who's Dumbledore? Not Dumbledore. Um, <laughs> Um, I'm hearing Dumbledore is playing dress up with the Father Swords, whatever that may mean. There could be someone who's like an investigator here, or somebody who's getting like dressed up and they're wearing like clothing of another century. I'm hearing another time, and they're talking at a table that they don't normally talk at, uh, whatever that may mean. Took it for you. I'm hearing, but they're talking to children. Very interesting. Okay, whatever that may mean. Took it for a number of you. Take it as you will. The feeling is though that. Um, and, and it may be your own energy as well. It could be, Leo, that you're uh, deciding on taking on a, a totally different, uh, I'm hearing, timeline that you that you work with in your work. It could also be related to what you eventually would like to come out about, I'm hearing, to communicate, what eventually you would like to uh, uh, to, to to learn more about, perhaps research and investigate for a number of you, maybe analyzing also a certain industry or certain trends. Let us, though, uh, all of you, my guards here for you, dear Leo. And again, this is your full moon and Taurus reading. I'm hearing full, full, full. It's a full house, and there may be a whole lot of. Uh, I'm seeing you like in in an audience, uh, specifically, and I know a lot of uh, Leo performers here watching, watching. I'm hearing Roy Robinson. Whoa, my love. My darling, I've hungered for your touch, oh Lord, and I, 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 oh I need your love. Oh, I need your love, darling, speed love, to me. Okay, uh, Leo, <laughs> let's get back. Back to life, back to reality, back to life, back to reality. I'm seeing you like looking at your own work, Leo. And let me first say this. Okay, let me, let me say it like this first rather someone yet again is totally gawking over you okay let me just be really honest someone is really 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 mesmerized in a way where they they are they're like losing breath in how many times they're talking about you to their parents to their family to their lovers i'm hearing as well take as you will it's like no i swear i'm hearing this guy is captivating and and it's like i'm hearing what are you talking about clancy i'm hearing nancy uh, are you playing Drew again, or are we just, uh, uh, are we gonna start drawing on the board, uh, to talk about certain, uh, decisions that we, we need to make, whatever that may be in the front of every breath. Specific message going through, and you're coming through again, Leo, with the strength card, and the father wants, and the emperor, okay. 
you're turning a few damn heads. Leo, again, again. And I'm seeing it as like, even the bobbleheads are moving. I'm hearing with their eyes closed, whatever that may be. It's like, they're not even, they don't even have to like see your performance to feel that something is moving. Even in the industry that you work in, I'm hearing in the movie that you're, that you're working on. And um, there's a vibrational shift, Leo. There's a change in the way that I'm hearing the air turns in that room and you feel it. I'm hearing specifically and I'm hearing director, directorship with the strength card and the Sun of Cups. I'm hearing you're just mesmerized by your own, uh, your own message as well in terms of how it's uh, uh, being uh, carried out. I'm hearing in terms of how others are, are, um, are receiving it and interpreting it and, uh, and, and I'm hearing massaging it with you and I'm seeing like you're, I'm seeing you like offering someone something at a convention and they like, they, they're really like, they're, they're just, they're, I'm hearing they're channeling with you. <laughs> It's like, but they don't even know like how they're clapping the the the, the rhythm of the song uh, exactly on the same beat that you are when they've never heard that song before. It's like, but they're like, wait a second, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I'm hearing this is uh this is how this is how we do it. Okay, and so yet again though, the feeling though that I'm getting, Leo, is that <laughs> I'm hearing you. I'm hearing again. How many times? I'm hearing how many times we have to hone in on this. You've captivated your audience. And because why? Why? Because you've captured the vision that you saw yourself creating for them to see. And that is the purity and the honesty, the integrity of your work that others connect to. And when they see that, when they feel that, when they smell that, when they breathe it in, the I'm hearing in the boardroom as well, they don't need to know that a baby has been born to believe in it. And there's a focus here on uh, what it is that you believe in, Leo, what it is that you believe in as holding a certain supremacy of potential that you realize, I, and nobody's going to channel this, I've got to be the one who captures the essence of the moment that I live through the spirit of my craft in. And the focus, again, for you, Leo, is on who is, um, I'm hearing, managing the the moment in their mind's eye and someone may be super super interested in working with you someone may be super 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 i'm hearing uh like i'm hearing in in candy land wondering how they're gonna pop a question to you as well in terms of how you can possibly connect with one another and and uh create something really really cool i'm seeing k-e-w-l whatever that may mean in terms of a number of you um I'm hearing cool aid, but that doesn't need any financial aid. Take it as you will. It's like something that may, they may want to perhaps, uh, someone, someone may, may, uh, may be really, I'm hearing professional as well and may want to make you an offer that, uh, doesn't need to be like, uh, prepared for as well. Whatever that may mean for a number of you. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Leo. Now, uh, take it as you will always. I'm hearing Sagittarius again here as well. There could be a focus on a promotion. I'm hearing of leadership and someone may want to present you to a team as well. Um, I'm hearing of children, take it as you will. Now, Leo, 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 the feeling I'm getting is that although you realize that there are people who are going to be mesmerized by your act, I'm hearing, okay. There is the focus as well on how you interpret that, how it is that you are involved in that process. I'm hearing that is kinesthetic. That is, uh, I'm hearing um, created by way of the commentary that is, that, is, that is upheld in how you interact with your audience and how they interact with you. And that cycle is um, what surfaces at the end of the day. And I'm seeing you as kind of being aware of that. I'm seeing you as realizing how others are working with your work and, I'm real, and realizing that there are emotions as well at play that you don't really wanna play with. And it's like, okay, well, I realize that I'm hearing I'm magnetic and I am, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing I'm like a I'm hearing a, a, a Molly, whatever that may be for a number of you. I realize that I am really I'm hearing also fun to it to to gaze at. I'm hearing to engage as well. Whatever that may mean for a number of you. It's like you may have a really startling effect uh, on, on others. Uh, but it's like I don't wanna just I'm hearing mesmerize a uh, Polly in her pocket. I, I wanna also be really clear about what I'm um, what what it is that I'm that I'm actually performing. And um, 
I'm seeing for a period of time you being like, this is so cool. I'm hearing, I feel like I'm hearing I have lights on my shoes that light up when I walk on the stage. <laughs> I feel like I am somewhat like Buzz Lightyear. And I feel like I can just take a break whenever I want and still have people believe in me, whatever that may mean for number you, which is perhaps as you may feel it, a really good feeling where it's like, I don't want to feel like I have to break my back in the bathroom working in order to feel like people believe in I'm hearing the dance that I'm dancing when I'm off stage. And, um, there is a focus on what you are finding, let's say, uh, I'm hearing superstardom with, whoa, whatever that may be for you, the star coming through, the high priestess in reverse, what it is that you realize is your secret sauce, Leo, what you bring to the stage, that is, I'm hearing a secret, uh, all of your own, that is not necessarily one that is actually, um, uh, I'm hearing processed through, and it's like, I'm hearing, I swear, I'm hearing, I swear. If you ask me what, why, I, how I do what I do, I'm hearing, I don't have a professor that I can send you to to learn the same, the same thing. I'm hearing, I don't have, I'm hearing also a parent that has packed that in my lunch bag at school. I promise you, I'm hearing, it's not a pill that I've popped, and it's not a, a teacher I'm hearing again at school that has taught me this, uh, this way of talking. It's a matter of how I have tranced. I'm hearing through my own channeling of events that I've seen myself play through lifetime to lifetime again. I'm hearing together. I'm hearing at home as one. The Justice card coming through, the Father of Cups. There's something that you're really tapping into, Leo, and it's something that you may feel. It's like this is a gift. I'm hearing this is a this is a certain talent that has been carried through from another lifetime. I'm hearing specifically for a number of you. This is something that I have such a deep faith in, a belief in that is the fabric. I'm hearing the interweaving of my emotional nature, even my propensity to channel what I'm feeling in a way that is dynamic. For a number, of you may absolutely be actors. You may absolutely be um in the public eye having a sort of performance and others look at you and they really really freaking rack their brain <laughs> when they were trying to understand how you've rolled i'm hearing the dice in that way how you've rolled onto the stage as well um so i'm hearing i'm hearing weathered for a number of you also unweathered for a number of you and it's like, how are they doing that? I'm seeing people like around you, looking at you, talking about you, turning their heads again to find like almost, it's almost as if you're a magician, Leo. And they're like trying to look under your dress and they're trying to like look under your armpit. And they're like, hey, lift your arm, how'd you do that? You know, sort of feeling. And you're like, no, really, I'm hearing, I am not licking any lollipop here, kids. I'm hearing, I am, I'm hearing really, um, I'm hearing actually lost in my work. I'm really lost actually in in uh, in uh, the, the uh, in, in the uh, uh, in the love that uh, I am not busy trying to find, I'm hearing the definition of, I'm hearing to determine for you all, but I am just loving it simply. And I wanna share that with you all. In the moment that I lose touch with what it could potentially become down the line. And I'm seeing you as wanting to really like release, Leo. What has been, I'm hearing a point of magnetism in the past that has been related to profit specifically it's like if i once considered one of my gifts and talents as associated with profit i'm hearing specifically as potential in a physical monetary way in a professional way i'm hearing i want to polarize that perception absolutely i want to i'm hearing condemn it whatever that may mean trigger for you i'm hearing the nature of it i want to really i'm hearing just channel through my work and there's an authenticity to that that is so i'm hearing alluring is so um i'm hearing irresistible oh my goodness and Again, Leo, I'm seeing you kind of like knowing that, okay? And like looking at yourself in the mirror and like uh, I'm hearing giving yourself a few, a few, uh, I'm hearing licks on the lips and like, yeah, I'm hearing, I know that I'm creative. I'm hearing when I want to be, um, <clears throat> when I, when I want to be, um, when I want to be open to what creativity means and how it is that you work through that process without kind of like being consumed in it as I'm hearing a human, whatever that may be to go for you, where it's like, I have bills to pay and I have, I'm hearing futures to forecast. I'm hearing I have fortunes to tell and I have tales that I eventually need to tell. <clears throat> um, the feeling is that when you lose sight of what you're trying to grasp hold of in a physical way, again, if it's like monetary, if it's physical, if it's financial, it's like, that's when I feel all the possibility of my craft, of what I 
hold in this moment as just simply that, possibility. Where I am just simply the performer. And the moment in which I believe in that, not because it can be leading me to a certain space and a certain place and time, physically, professionally, socially, that's one. I breathe life into the letter that I write to my future self. And there's such immense passion here, Leo, for what you are just singling out as a vision where you're just isolating all of them. You're in the bullshit <laughs> related to the eight of pentacles and, and the higher font where it's like, oh, okay, I'm hearing. Yes. I'm hearing. I'm seeing some, I'm seeing someone who let's say has uh, a lot of bills to pay. Let's say whatever that may mean in particular for you. And it always a matter of perception, right? But someone who let's say has a lot on their plate and let's say they've got like, even if they've got a, um, let's say they've got a service that they, that they give and, Let's say they, they host websites or something of that nature. Let's say they, they have a channel that they work on and they have a number of different, uh, I'm hearing audiences and networks that they work with or at revenue streams. And it's like, there's so much pandemonium in the professional space technically that I work in. I could have so many clients, let's say that I would technically need to service. But when I believe only in the belief of what it is that I am passionate about, that's when I break out of the box and out of the hat that I carry my craft through. And I'm seeing it as something that yet again, feels like ma is magic, Leo. Is, I'm hearing the all-star of your performance. Reinvents, recycles the version of yourself that you realize, I'm hearing, I, I am the cat in the hat. I'm hearing, I am the, I'm hearing cookie to my cutter. I am, I'm hearing the creature of my night that I will eventually find, I'm hearing the light in. And that for you is something that is really exciting, but also really testing of how you see yourself. How do I see myself? creating what it is that I create. How do, how do I feel when I find focus in what I do that cannot be formalized? And that is a challenging space, Leo. That is, can be, and it can feel like a challenging space. It's like, how do I forget about the bills that I need to pay and just focus on what I am creating? How do I release, I'm hearing my inhibitions related to even the industry that I've worked in, the structure that I've worked in. Okay, I technically have to work with this, I'm hearing individual in this way. I have to work with this client in that way, with that market in that way. I'm hearing supermarket here, another source, I'm hearing your revenue there. It's like, when I release how I work in the world that has already been created, how is it that I come into full view with and of reflectively what I am wishing, what I'm dying to bring into form? And how do you connect there? Leo, I'm hearing Pisces, with Pisces. You may be dealing with a Pisces. You may be dealing, and you've got here the Mother of Cups in reverse right behind the uh, Magician. You may be dealing with a fire sign as well. Another fire sign, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, someone who may be uh, working on behalf of you in some shape or form, some, someone who you would eventually like to strike, uh, uh, who, you, who you would like to, I'm hearing, channel with, whatever that may mean for you. Again, you may be working, though, with... Um, I'm hearing as well another Sagittarius. You may be working. You may be working with a Sagittarius or another. You may be working with two Sagittarius. Take it as you will. Sagittarii. <laughs> um, but the, the Mother of Cups in Reverse, um, for a number of you, you, may feel that there is a guidance here. That there are symbols that you are heeding. Like yes, I'm hearing. I I I can't. I'm hearing. I can't. I'm hearing. Like shh. I can't. I can't talk about that yet. I'm hearing as well. I can't. It's not a matter of. Uh, of just um, also um, um, 
I'm hearing the teaching, I'm hearing the principle itself. It's not um, a matter of, uh, of tracking it as well. It's like when I am too busy with, with timing my, my work, I'm hearing in the world that I'm creating, I lose track of what exactly um, it is uh, feeding me. I'm hearing inspiring in me to create it with. And it's like, I don't know the ingredients and I in a certain way cannot know the ingredients in order to make the version of the world that I am smelling before I create it. See what I mean, Leo? It's like there's this feeling of um, being immersed in the vision before you formalize how you create it. And those are still factors as I'm seeing it for you on the table. And it's like, okay, I, yes, I'm hearing. How do we throw a party on the bus that we got to make sure has enough gas? It's like, how do we um, make sure that all the wheels are, are rotating at the same time? And there may be a number, again, of factors. But the feeling, Leo, yet again, that I'm getting is that uh, how is it that I am also making very simple my prerogative, my passion, my source of empowerment in finding the form first in my mind's eye also in a sensory way where it's like okay if i'm let's say thinking of making a project a, a certain vision i'm hearing version of myself as well take it as you will how is it that i am um i'm hearing uh, i'm hearing again immersed in it also i'm hearing imagining it i'm hearing open to it that requires of me to re-recognize the space that is related to how I create it. And I'm seeing you like, whoa, the magician just doing a flip there, looking back up at the mother of cups. The magician's just falling over on three of wands. What is it that we are making? I'm hearing a promise of. I'm hearing the mission for, the statement of. What is it that we are creating? And what is it that is created of that through that? It's like this, Leo. If you're involved in a process, I'm hearing a certain project, I'm seeing you as being so captivated by the project itself in a way where you realize I've got to be, I'm hearing captivated by it. If I'm not captivated by it, I'm hearing how can the actor sing and dance a song that he's never lived through? It's like he's got to be in a certain way immersed in that experience and hearing challenge, challenging. There is a focus perhaps also on regeneration physically of how you would like to show up physically in a certain space. The focus is again, as I'm getting it, on how it is that you are identifying with that role, with that version of what you are creating that brings the dynamic to the fore, that brings the dynamic that you would like to represent, to strike out clearly for your audience to see, where you're in harmony with, I'm hearing in resonance with, why you've come to the point of creating what it is that you have in this way. And I'm seeing you as re realizing that there are so many factors at play realizing that there are so many ways that your work can also be interpreted and in a certain way though leo at the end of the day your actions speak for you your world speaks for you that which is constantly in motion and even let's say not having a certain definition of what is actually being created or participated in is what is captivating for your audience and the more let's say like loose that you are i'm hearing specifically with how you and i'm not seeing it as like okay i'm hearing doesn't matter i'm hearing where the letters go on the page it's like no no okay we're still like you know building building words i'm hearing with with our blocks whatever that may be took for you we're still making perhaps money from what we're doing but it's not a matter of uh i'm hearing suggesting the priority or the perception the philosophy of the importance of the potential of and the power of what we are presenting and i'm seeing it as being um, made very clear, Leo, in the way that you carry your work out in a public way. It's like, yet again, it's like how I choose not to choose how I deliver my work holds just, just as much emotion in it. I'm hearing passion in it that makes very clear what and how it is that I create what it is that I do and what it is that I prioritize as the creator of what I create. And that is addictive for your audience. I'm hearing specifically Leo. Like that is, I'm hearing the pie that they want more of. Okay, give me another piece of that. Leo, love and lights y'all here. Enjoy this full moon in Taurus. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful full moon as you rise up in this period of illumination. And in whatever way that you take that, right? 
whatever it is that illumination means for you, what does it mean to connect with a certain concept that you work with in a brighter way? What does it mean to be what it is that you create? And I'm getting that there is a focus on how things, let's say, are projected, how it is that you may be re I'm hearing reconnecting with perhaps even a certain past, a certain past time, a certain past. Uh, I'm hearing path that you may have worked through at a certain point in time in the past. And we've got here the Hierophant that's sitting at the very, um, Face of the deck right as we trail out and um that is a card of taurus and the major arcana so it's really a card of taurus and the major arcana speaking of specifically the full moon and taurus there may be someone who wants to i mean re reconnect with you in a certain way who may want to uh, at least almost like jog your memory of a certain i'm hearing path that you may have worked on in the past it may be related to um a certain uh a certain i'm hearing pathfinder uh it could be actually a, a f uh, an industry that you worked in, in the past that someone may be wanting to sort of uh get back in touch with you with or perhaps even uh, stimulate or um uh, uh start uh sort of talks about uh, working on together thank you so much again for tuning in leo and there could be focus on collaboration as well and what it is it they uh, perhaps would like to uh support you with as well and as well i'm getting stimulate conceptually thank you so much again for tuning in leo thank you all so much for your likes your comments your shares your subscriptions i'm so touched by all of you thank you for connecting and your comments i read all of them thank you so much for connecting there as well Love and light to you all, and thank you again for your support energetically, first and foremost. Have a beautiful, beautiful uh, Halloween as well. We're stepping into Halloween right as we trail out of the full moon. And of course, energy is fluid, right? It may resonate a few days before and after the full moon in Leo and then Taurus. Take it as well. It's like, oh, no, this is my time. I'm here. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If you've got, let's say, Taurus cusping fifth house, there could be a focus on how you're coming to terms with these energies in a, in a physical way. I'm hearing specifically for a number of you, okay? Um, nonetheless, thank you so much again for tuning in, Leo. Loving the lights. Thank you all so much again for your dear support, your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscriptions. I'm so touched by all of you. And again, I read all your comments. Thank you for leaving them. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll try to get back to you guys whenever I have the chance. And... Um, Again, um, let's see if any other messages want to come through. I'm hearing leave those kids alone. I'm reading this, uh, the name of this book sits, that's sitting under the camera, the book of symbols, whatever that may mean, I'm looking for a number of you. And let's say if you've been researching a certain, um, a certain industry for a long time, lots of work going into that. I'm seeing you as um, kind of uh, getting ready to, to work with the same content in a really different way where it's like, okay, I'm hearing if I was looking at things philosophically, I'm now going to be looking at things strategically. If I was looking at things uh, simply, I'm going to be looking at them emotionally. I'm hearing a complex with complexity, whatever that may be, I'm talking for a number of you. And I'm seeing it as like there being somewhat of a transcendence of the way that you carry your work out in a transformational manner. And I'm getting that others really are really looking at the book that you're writing at this point in time as it relates to how you are seeing, I'm hearing believing in yourself. And there's a focus on uh, how it is that you are broadcasting this process in a public way. It's like what I'm experiencing on a personal level, how is it that I'm actually, uh, I'm hearing carrying that baby out on stage. How, what it is that I'm, I'm hearing breathing life into um, and making very obvious as a purpose for me. How is it that that is being bled out on the paper that I write my story out for others to, to witness? I'm hearing also to write on together. And again, if there's a focus on collaboration, I'm getting that there could be some um, point of a, um, I'm hearing decision in terms of how you may want to work with a certain individual. And it's like, well, what are you gonna be involved in? What am I gonna be involved in? How are we gonna be working together? I'm hearing as one once more. And the sort of feeling is like if there was a duet at a certain point, how are we gonna sing again? together here and not have i'm hearing hair on our legs whatever that may mean for the friend of you take it as you will it's like it's like perhaps something that in the past was really accommodating in a certain way financially take it as you will really also socially stimulating or something that you were really proud of how is it that i come back in touch with that same concept without feeling like i'm uh i'm hearing organizing it uh um 
in in a in an old fashioned way where it's like what what Roy that moment for you where it's like I feel like I'm working with I'm hearing a key that opens a treasure chest that uh, is now actually used as a trunk I'm hearing for my car it's like I don't want to feel like I'm washing windows that used to be the window to the world of opportunity that I would have at a certain point in time uh, I'm hearing witnessed uh, I'm hearing worlds through whatever that may mean for you it's like I how do I take let's say what held meaning and value for me at a certain point in time how do I take what held also I'm hearing a promise of potential for me down the line and really turn the gears with how it is that I believe in it again how it is that I also am open to working with it again thank you so much again Leo for tuning in loving the lights y'all here let's see if any other messages want to come through right before we trail it out I'm getting that there is a focus on certain I'm hearing components of your work certain conversations that you may feel you would like to hold certain um I'm hearing a collaboration certain events as well that someone may want you to be involved in. I'm hearing will as well assets, something that is really highly uh, collaborative in nature where it's like, you got to show up here. I'm, I'm hearing at the meeting gym in order to have, uh, I'm hearing uh, something to chew on at the end of the, at the end of the show, whatever that may be in front of you. It's like, what am I going to be also investing in a certain space? And what is it that I'm going to be getting as a return on that investment? Um, be it in a reflective way of how, what I'm creating is integrating with a certain audience and how that audience is integrating back into the fabric. I'm hearing the network of my work. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Leo, love and light to y'all here. Thank you so much for tuning in thank you for connecting thank you again so much for your dear comments love and light to enjoy this period and i highly recommend as well to check out your rising sign or moon sign as you may find there's further insights there for you into your situation you may find that you resonate a whole lot with your moon sign you may find you resonate a whole lot with your rising ascendant sign as well i know that i do uh, so again feel free to check out your signs if you don't know your signs and you want to calculate them you can do so via the link in the bio description box below just click through there i know some of you have also been asking me personal readings and i I do as of yet if you'd like to book a personal reading you can do so via the link in the bio description box below there are a few options there um there's a partnership service as well if you'd like to see how your energies are working with the energies of another how it is it you're sort of interacting on an energetic level then that's another option uh, there okay thank you so much for tuning in again if you'd like to read more on the services you can do so by clicking the link in the bio description box below leo enjoy this period and i'll see you soon bye